Today is Monday, January 8th, and this is the ADM Investor Services Monday Market Kickoff. Today's guests are Alan Bush, Senior Financial Economist here at ADMIS, and Steve Freed, Vice President of Grain Research. Steve, in light of the new year, what are the campaign grain trades for 2018? Well, first of all, we're going to assume normal weather, and we think that soybean prices are too high relative to corn, so we think corn gains on soybeans. We also think in mid-January that the U.S. Uh, is going to announce some policy that's going to help domestic demand of soybean oil. So soybean oil prices should gain on soybean meal. And finally, if we have a La Nina year, it should be dry across the southern 30 of the United States and wet across the northern 30 of the United States, which would mean we might have a little stress on the Kansas wheat crop. So maybe the Kansas wheat gains on Minneapolis wheat. Um, we'll also be watching pretty closely the livestock market see if there's a chance that those prices go down because of too much supply. What could be the sleeper and what could go wrong? Well, the thing that could go wrong is we've had three years in a row where each year we've had record corn yields from the previous yield year. So what could go wrong is that if there's no weather problem, just prices either stay here or go lower and there's no chance for a rally. Mm -hmm. And what will the USDA say Friday with the market impact, sell the rumor or buy the fact? Well, I think that the one thing that we're noticing today is prices are weaker than we thought. And I think the market's going into this report saying that there may not be anything in this report that's bullish. And so we wouldn't find any bottom pickers. Uh, we wouldn't find any short covering. And actually, the funds would add to their short positions. And any big moves in cattle or hogs? As I mentioned, I, our analyst, uh, Chris Lerner, feels that there's just too much supply. And in 2018, hog and cattle prices are going to go lower. Alan, what is the price outlook for the industrial commodities this year? Well, it still appears that the industrial commodities will put in a very good performance. We are already seeing the uh, crude oil and the copper market at multi-year highs. And even some of the laggards like natural gas and platinum, I believe will probably put in a very good performance this year. So in general, I would have to say all of the industrial commodities will perform very well, some better, better than others, such as the copper in crude oil, but this is likely to be the bull for industrial commodities this year. Why did the 30-year Treasury bond futures only temporarily rally, rally on Friday's non-farm payrolls report and close lower? Well, the fact that the bonds did not put in a good performance, did not rally for very long on bullish news in itself, suggests that the main trend is lower. Uh, also, we have to keep in mind that the Fed is likely to raise rates two or three times this year. So it appears that the main trend is lower, and when a market cannot rally on bullish news, that has to be viewed as a sign of weakness. S&P 500, Dow, and NASDAQ futures advanced to new historical highs in spite of Friday's disappointing non-farm payrolls report, which increased only 148,000 in December, which compared to expectations of a gain of 180,000. Why are stock index futures continuing to advance? Well, first of all, if, if the indices can rally on bearish news, just like the bonds could uh, did break on, on the bullish news for them, that in itself has to be another sign of strength for the indices. But in the, in the longer term view, in the macro view, it's the low interest rate environment that remains, uh, not just here in the U.S., in spite of the rate increases that we did see, but also globally. So rates are still historically at relatively low levels and that bodes well for the economy, which in turn is supportive to the industry. So any breaks that we see in the stock index futures should be used as buying opportunities. There is a lot left price-wise and time-wise in this bull market in stock index futures. Great. If you have any questions or comments or would like to know more about our services, please contact us at www.admis.com.